Just in time for Remembrance Day, the Trudeau Liberals seem to have found a most unusual way to honor our troops, which is to say, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> Canadian Special Operations Forces is made up of some of the most elite soldiers in the country, the sort of warriors who get involved in the most secretive and dangerous missions. Given their skill set, you'd think these would be just the sort of soldiers the Department of National Defense would really want to take care of. But get this, according to a CTV News report, such elite soldiers could now lose a special monthly allowance if they are sick or injured for more than 180 days. Apparently, it's a new policy the Department of National Defense very quietly rolled out a couple of months ago, and it also affects everyone from paratroopers and submarine crews to pilots and rescue technicians and any other servicemen who had the temerity to limp home injured. Many of these elite soldiers are understandably frustrated and can't fathom why they must suffer financial ramifications while nursing temporary injuries. Worse yet, CTV reports that some observers say the policy could place undue stress on these soldiers who might feel pressured to either conceal their injuries or rush back to work before they're fully recovered. But apparently our Liberal government is suddenly on an austerity kick especially since it looks as though the budget apparently won't be balancing itself as promised. Besides, folks, it's all about getting our priorities straight after all, which is to say sometimes you really need to nickel and dime injured patriots while amassing multi-million dollar payouts to repatriated jihadis. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, The Rebel has an all-new fall lineup. Please visit therebel.media shows and check it out.